Y'all, I cannot believe this. Fabric rolls a dollar each. You get the entire roll for a dollar. Look at that. Oh, and that one. Oh, I love the print on that one. Oh, and here's a black and white print. This feels like velvet. Can y'all believe that? A dollar per roll. And I want you to look. These rolls are huge. Oh, I really like that print. You just never know the good deals you're going to find at these restores. This restores hours are Monday through Saturday, 10 to 4, and I'll list their address in the description box below. Ah, uh, here we go. So I want y'all to bear with me. I have a little bit of a cold, but you know what? That's not going to stop us. We had seen these chairs, 800, 600, 480, now 380 dollars for these two caracol chairs. I'm telling you, that price is getting closer and closer to what I think I might pay. <laughs> I love these chairs. They're normally twelve hundred dollars each online. Still of a deal here. And here's a set of two cane back chairs, thirty-eight dollars for both chairs. And they've got some more chairs coming up that are just fabulous. And this just screams French Provincial, so it's a large china hutch for $145. And I thought these chairs were so fancy. So here's a set of eight chairs for $160. I think they're worth every penny. Look at that design on the back. Here's a large dining room table for $200, and I love all the carving and just the imperfections in the top. And this is a table with three chairs and one bench for $165, and this kind of gives me that farmhouse vibe. And for $4.50, you could get this sweet sleeping angel figurine. And I'm running across the best faux flowers at these restores. This basket's only $18.50. Perfect for spring. And here's a wicker end table for $24. And y'all know I love the pillows at the ReStore. These are $2.50 each. And they always have the best deal on decor. This large vase is only $8.50. Oh, I really like this. So it's a vintage Duncan Miller centerpiece and it's got a ruffled open crocheted lace edge. They've got it here for $20. And y'all have to let me know, what on earth is this crazy thing? So I guess a gift for your friend who has everything, it's $3. What do you do with that? Do you stick it down the plant? I don't know. <laughs> It'd scare my cat to death. And I really like this apron, it's $6. You know, I think that just makes cooking more fun. So this has got all the different pastas on it. Someone to pay $12.98, but you could get it here for $3. I really like this ceramic pot trivet. And we're gonna take a quick trip through the cookbook. 75 cents for a soft back, 125 for a hard back. It's getting grilling season at my house. Who gets so excited about that? I love grilled food. Oh, and this is for me. If I'm so smart, why do I eat like this? <laughs> I think that all the time. What is wrong with me? And the hallelujah diet, that sounds fun. 
Oh, and I missed the pizza book. Let's see, barbecue again. That looks like a tried and true Better Homes and Gardens. And America's Best. They always have the best selection of cookbooks here. Uh, George Foreman. I have a George Foreman grill. I love it. Love, love it. Oh, and eat what you love. I definitely eat way too much of what I love. <laughs> cookies, way too many cookies. Oh, and summer cocktails. That might be fun if you're having a summer party. So, you know, definitely check your restore for books and cookbooks. I always find the best deals. And do y'all like chimes? They have this little set of chimes for $4. I love wind chimes. And here's a bird feeder for $2.50 at my house. That'd be a squirrel feeder. <laughs> they will not leave my bird feeder alone. Here's a shot around the store. Just know when you shop your Habitat Restore, you're helping someone else with home ownership. And these desks were such a throwback for me. Who out there remembers sitting in one of these old desks? <laughs> I do all through school. I'm a lefty. Of course, these didn't have the armrest, but it seemed like all the desks had a right armrest, so I never had that. And yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to look underneath. No, I don't see any gum under there. <laughs> I was kind of expecting to see some, but I guess they cleaned it off. You know, every kid that sat in those desks stuck their gum under the chair. And here's a really unique desk for $65, and I know it's got some nicks and scratches on it but I showcased it because I think this would make a really great coffee bar or a tea bar you know it's a fantastic size not too big And y'all know I get excited when we go back into the antiques and unique section, so I cannot wait to show you all the great finds they had here today. I already see some fun things, so here we go. This is a mid-century chair. These are hot ticket items. They've got it here for $150. Someone had one similar to it on sale for $365 on Etsy. Did y'all have one of these? I remember these. And this was one of my favorite finds. So it's $28 for this ball and claw foot accent table. And they had one on Cherish that was sold for over $2,000. So fantastic deal here for 28 bucks. And this was such a good throwback for me. So it's a croquet set, a partial set. I remember growing up and we'd set that up on my grandmother's lawn and have all the neighborhood kids come over. That was always so much fun. I loved playing croquet. Here's a false graph cookie jar for $7, and I saw where someone had sold one on eBay for $25. And this was another one of my favorite finds, so it's a vintage mid-century cheese tray. I love the green and the purple together. I saw where someone had one listed similar to it on Etsy for $22. Wouldn't that be a fun vintage take on a modern charcuterie board? And here is an 8mm projector from the 1930s, $50. And I remember in elementary school, we used to always get so excited when we got to see a film. Did y'all remember those? And this just made me think of me one day in London, hopefully Paris, but I'm going to have a cat on a leash. <laughs> My little Ric Flair. I don't think he'd be up for that. And this is a cross-stitch picture for $8. I know some of my viewers like to needlepoint or cross-stitch, so I thought this was really pretty. Here's a vintage half moon desk for $125, and I think that that would be perfect to take, repaint, maybe put some of those fancy decals on it, and make it into a makeup vanity. Here's a statin flip top server for $150, and I saw where they had one listed, but it was out of stock for $699 on Cherish. Here is a brand new farmhouse sink for $60, and I look them up similar to this size online that go for several hundred dollars.
And I just wanted to show you this great architectural piece. This was already sold, but wouldn't that be pretty as your entryway? Just that beautiful arch, and there's some columns there with it. You never know what you're going to find at these restores. And talk about you never know what you're going to find. So they call this thing a hang-up. It's $60. My husband swears by this. He's got one similar to this. You just got to be careful. Be sure that somebody's around when you're upside down that you can get back up <laughs> or that you set it properly. I hope y'all are enjoying these walkthroughs with me. I certainly enjoy bringing you along just to see all the great finds that I come across. Here is a swivel rocker. It comes with the ottoman for $150. Oh, that looks so comfortable. And here's a vintage rocker for $48. And I saw where someone had sold one on OfferUp for $100. And y'all know I love the beds. Look at this large king size bed for $50. To me, that should have your grandma's quilt on it, some big white fluffy pillows. Oh, it would be perfect. And here's a full size four poster bed for $100. Y'all know I love that carving. I love a four poster bed. That was actually the very first thing I bought when I got out of school with my first paycheck was a four poster bed. So love, love it. Oh, and wouldn't these make a statement? So these are large candle holders for $50. And y'all know I love this swirly metal. This one's $4. And this is a shout out to all the grandmas out there. And this looks like a great little primitive piece. $5 for this bunny wheelbarrow, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, and I want y'all to see this. So for $4.50, Look at this gorgeous tray I found. Oh, isn't that pretty with the lemons on it? And it gets even better. And they had the matching piece to go with it for $3.50. Isn't that pretty together? And y'all know this particular restore does a silent auction, so we gotta see what they've got. Number eight is a Princess House collection who out there collects Princess House. And number seven is a cast iron collection. I oh, want that one of the fronts a cornbread skillet. And I always find these pieces so interesting. So this is a uranium glass collection and these pieces glow under a black light. Oh, I like that with the etching of the flowers on it. And number five is a Minolta camera with the lens, a flash, and accessories along with a leather carrying bag. And number four is a cowboy collection and it comes with a vintage leather horse and a woven horse saddle blanket. Number three is a Star Trek collection and they've got the Star Trek Federation first 150 years book and that thing in the middle that's round is actually the box that it came in to display it. How cool is that? And number two they have listed as a books and specs collection. I think that's funny. Those glasses make me think of John Boy Walton. Do y'all remember John Boy from the Waltons with his little round glasses? And they actually have a book by Charles Dickens from 1901 so that'd be really fun to have. And number one is a children's collection. They've got three Cabbage Patch dolls and two A.A. A. Milne books. I think they're from the 1920s. And number nine is an RCA Victor Victrola record player. And they said it has an original sticker on the back. Oh, 
and I love number 11. So these are a pair of Imogene Hudson Farnsworth prints. The first one is the African Linus with her cubs. I think that's so sweet. And the second one is an African Lion. And these are numbered prints, number 358 on each of them. And number 10 is a home interiors collection. They've got a vintage cozy kitchen plaque and a vintage car clock they said that works and a barn plaque. And I saw this basket of silverware I wanted to show y'all. It's 49 pieces for $35. It's Holmes and Edwards silver plate silverware. They think possibly from the 1930s. You know, you just don't see pieces like that every day. So I hope y'all had fun with me today, and I just wanted to showcase this tray again. I think it was one of my favorite pieces there. I love mid-century pieces. Of course, I appreciate all kinds of decor. Y'all will have to let me know what was your favorite piece here today. Thank you so much for going with me, and until next time, come go with me today. Bye!